Hello, I am Dr. Nasmani. Now this is the beginning of the next uh, academic year for the preparation of uh, entrance test for postgraduate medical examination 2012-13. This uh, series of session are meant for refreshing your memory in the basic sciences and also improve your skill to try to answer the entrance oriented MCQ questions. In the first few sessions in the initial few weeks I will be uploading mainly the discussion part and once in a while on a regular basis test also will be video upload test video also will be uploaded so I request you to see the channel every day visit the channel every day and some of these videos may be a little faster because uh, the YouTube doesn't allow a video for more than 14 minutes to keep the good quality I am keeping each video upload less than 14 minutes so if you feel that the video is running a little faster you can use the freeze button and uh, play button until you finish reading one frame so this is essentially a self learning tutorial but I am trying to explain to the extent possible through a video methodology and some of these uh, uh, sessions will be based on uh, test oriented videos in those cases I expect you to take an A4 size paper read the question in 5 to 6 seconds which is the time you will get in the real time examination time will be available just for once reading and then you have to see the options and mark the answers and at the end of the session you will be provided with answers but such a question answer a question paper sessions will not be transmitted now itself after a few days you can uh, see such uh, videos already around 12 videos have been uploaded in the same channel so you can see them for that meanwhile how the future question papers will be looking alike I have I'm also transmitting uh, the videos uh, based on the based on the concept bridge uh, which means that uh, the basic concepts about certain medical situations are explained to you even though I'm a pediatrician subjects I'm dealing with in this channel will be uh, in, uh, in all subjects right from anatomy physiology biochemistry pathology microbiology forensic SPM uh, ophthalmology ENT general surgery orthopedics general medicine pediatrics ONG gynecology neurosurgery and uh, some plastic surgery or any specialty because I got a big uh, bank of questions uh, more than one lakh and I'm showing you the uh, channel address www.youtube.com slash acepgmed in this channel already uh, nearly 60 videos have been uploaded and uh, across the world more than 4,000 visits uh, or hits have been already made since the inception of this channel so I request you to see the channel every day and the advantage of this channel is that you can see the video again and again you can view it in your uh, Android phone also and suppose you are in India with the BSNL 2G connection and there are uh, special tariffs available for 2G uh, rupees 89 uh, just for 3 GB per month which will be sufficient for you to see a lot of uh, videos in this YouTube since the each video session is less than 10 MB now uh, the first question in this uh, series is about uh, 
patent rectus arteriosus regarding uncomplicated patent rectus arteriosus which one is the false uh, statement uh, chest x-ray shows evidence of pulmonary plethora then raised uh, audibility of murmur when standing then there is evidence of left bundle branch block on ECG then typical BP recording is 120 by 80 millimeter mercury and the cyanosis is present some of these questions may be having more than one right answer but usually in many of the entrance tests single answer type is available but uh, postgraduate and uh, institute PGI Chandigarh sometimes have got multiple type multiple answer type here you can see the chest x-ray shows evidence of pulmonary plethora which is true because being a left right shunt more blood comes to the uh, pulmonary artery from the aorta because systemic pressure is more than uh, pulmonary pressure then raise the audibility to the murmur when standing definitely the PDA murmur which is uh, typically described as machinery murmur continuous murmur doesn't alter during posture there is evidence of a left ventricular branch block on ECG it's a false statement what you see usually is a left ventricular type of hypertrophy which will be seen as a positive uh, QRS complex in lead 1 and negative QRS complex in AVF and uh, in V1 lead chest lead you will see a negative deflection and in V6 you will see a positive deflection there is no bundle branch block seen in PDA but you will get a bundle branch block type of P, uh, ECG in the ASD ostium secundum and that too uh, beyond the age of uh, 4 or 5 and there is right ventricular dilatation then BP uh, in PDA is uh, usually having wide pulse pressure here the recording given is 120 bar 80 which is wrong wide pulse pressure is because there is aortic runoff during the diastole of the ventricle because the ductus is open and the blood flows from the aorta to the uh, left pulmonary artery cyanosis is absent uh, because PDA is a, essentially a, a cyanotic congenital heart disease only if there is a uh, untreated PDA and you get a pulmonary artery hypertension which is called Eisenmenger syndrome you get cyanosis in PDA and that can even produce what is called differential cyanosis depending on the position of the ductus in relation to the left subclavian artery if it is the before the uh, subclavian artery then right upper limb ha will have no cyanosis now the ductus arteriosus is a normal vascular channel during intrauterine life and it is a larger vessel with a muscular wall which courses between the pulmonary artery and aorta you know the anatomy the ductus arteriosus normally closes within the first 48 hours of life if it remains patent longer than this it is unlikely to go spontaneously the exception is in premature babies where closure usually occurs within three months of course there were pharmacological agents used earlier uh, days like indomethacin which is a postagrandin inhibitor a persistently open ductus is a common congenital heart lesion occurring either singly or in combination with the other defects it is more common in girls than in boys congenital rubella syndrome uh, premature uh, babies uh, are some of the conditions in CRS there is congenital rubella syndrome the triad is uh, PDA plus deafness and uh, uh, cataract it's actually you can say it's one of the preventable heart disease by vaccination features include uh, increased uh, cardiac output increased uh, pulmonary flow that is pulmonary plethora and chest x-ray and left ventricular hypertrophy due to increased uh, output increased pulse volume and white pulse pressure sinus is not a feature now this uh, picture shows the anatomy of the PDA uh, the what is circled there is marked as a PDA and you can see the flow of the blood and the color in the uh, pulmonary artery branches is changing from blue to slight pink because of the mixture of the red blood from the left side with the blue blood from the right side in the branch of the pulmonary artery the other anatomy is also marked there regarding pulmonary artery containing blood shunted from the aorta through the PDA in inferior vena cava and superior vena cava 
and the tricuspid valve opening and pumped, pumping blood from the right ventricle to the trunk of the pulmonary artery. The aortic valves are intact uh, in uh, PDA, but the blood leaks through the PDA in ventricular septal diastole, ventricular diastole, and hence white pulse, pulse pressure occurs, which I already explained. That is the reason for the collapse pulse. Now the chest x-ray shows that uh, lung fields are uh, hazy and heart enlarges that the baby uh, in this case x-ray the baby has a neonatal uh, lung disease also chronic lung disease also and uh, you can see the feeding tube uh, ECG leads also. Now I am showing you the image of the uh, ductor from the parasternal short axis view in color Doppler and the red blood is flow towards the trans transducer and the blue it means that the blood is away from the transducer it doesn't have any uh, significance to the oxygenation of the blood so please don't misunderstand red means blood flow towards the doppler uh, transducer and blue means it is away from the uh, doppler, uh, probe doppler is actually the name of a person not the name of the technique the right ventricular outflow tract connects to the main pulmonary artery MPA. You can see the mark area RVOT, MPA is main pulmonary artery and uh, PDA is the red color. You can see the area. The duct is seen as the red line. Now in this I am showing you the image of the ductal view in both the 2D that is black and white and with the color Doppler. Of course at the level of undergraduates these pictures may not be important but uh, for your information uh, these pictures are shown so that the concept can be built and applied questions from this section can be answered a better now the question number two is at birth uh, the following circular change circulatory changes occur um, rise in right atrial pressure flap closure of the foramen veil anatomical closure of the ductus arteriosus anatomical closure of the ductus venosus 20 fold uh, increase in lung blood flow state each one whether it is true or false the rise in right atrial pressure is a false statement uh, because in the case of uh, intrauterine life right side is having more pressure but uh, extrauterine life the left pressure is more then flap closure of the foramen ovale of course that is true and that's how the right left front is stopped at birth. Anatomy closure of the ductus arteriosus uh, at birth. It's actually functional closure which occurs initially. Anatomy closure takes some more time thrombus to form. The circulatory muscles are important. Anatomy closure of the ductus venosus uh, that is also uh, happening a little later. 20 fold increase in lung blood flow is also not a true fact. At the first breath, air fills the lungs and pulmonary vascular resistance falls. Blood flow to the lungs increases from 10 to 50 percent of the cardiac output and the increased pulmonary venous return raises the left atrial pressure. There is functional closure of the ductus arteriosus and venosus. Ligation of the umbilicus increases the systemic resistance. Uh, the circulatory system is uh, shown here. You can use the pause button now and uh, read the text. The text is too much here, so uh, you can use the pause button here also and uh, read the whole text. And uh, some more explanation I am giving, which will explain what is the change, what are the changes which occurs at uh, delivery. So hope this uh, session was uh, useful to you. And next session will be uploaded tomorrow. Goodbye from SCPG Madam.